So congratulations. Now you have your entire pipeline deployed on AWS using Terraform. Now let's give this a run. What we'll do here is um, insert a ride events record into our input Kinesis stream, which would enable the trigger uh, on our Lambda service, uh, which would grab the model uh, or at least a version of the model artifact from uh, the designated S3 bucket and uh, generate predictions uh, defined in the logic of the Docker image, which is packaged for this particular Lambda. Um, and then it would publish these predictions into the ride predictions stream on the output side. So uh, before we actually trigger this pipeline, we let and we need to configure some things, uh, especially the environment variables that we talked about in our uh, when we were uh, defining our Lambda configuration, which is here this section. So our Lambda actually needs three environment variables, uh, which is uh, your output uh, Kinesis stream, where it needs to write the records to, the model bucket, where it will pick the model artifacts from, and more importantly, the run ID, which is the version of the model that it's supposed to pick from. Um, what this looks like, now, if you go into your MLflow models bucket from your uh, created from your previous exercises, uh, similar to uh, this name, you'll find that it's been partitioned across by certain hash IDs, uh, which depends on your uh, set of experiments that you've run um, and the certain model versions and artifacts that you have according to this particular ID. So we basically want to retrieve the value of this particular partition from where it is supposed to grab uh, the model and its artifacts up to, for a certain version. So for this, we are going to implement a certain hack in order to retrieve the partition ID based on the last modified timestamp in that particular S3 bucket. Now, uh, this is actually a hack which is not recommended to use in production. What generally happens in practice is um, when the training pipeline generates the run ID for its current set of experiments, it updates that value in the model registry. And in a separate pipeline for your service deployment, you can make a call to this model registry to get your particular run ID. But in our exercise, however, we are keeping the integration of MLflow experiments out of the scope. And instead we'd use a small hack, which, uh, which begins with creating a script called as deploy manual.sh. Uh, you can choose to keep uh, whatever you prefer here. In here, we are going to uh, retrieve our run ID as we described, uh, which is listing the objects on that certain model bucket sorting it by the last modified timestamp in a descending order and retrieving uh, that particular partition ID uh, uh, from uh, which is present at latest. Now for our model bucket dev, uh, like we uh, saw earlier, this is something that we need uh, from where our experiments were stored earlier. Um, I'll explain why we are using this bucket and not the production bucket uh, in, in just a few minutes. We are also going to retrieve the other environment variables that we spoke about, which is uh, your uh, Kinesis output stream, where it's going to write the write, uh, predictions. Uh, the particular Lambda function that uh, needs to be updated with the environment variables. And we also need the model bucket, which was created by Terraform, which is currently very fresh and empty. Now, we are going to use the second step for our hack, which is copying. Uh, once we do get the run ID, we'll copy over the contents of the model artifacts bucket from our earlier experiments into the new bucket created by Terraform. 
I call this a hack because uh, uh, li like I explained before, uh, the training pipeline is responsible for generating uh, these artifacts into your model bucket, even in production. Uh, but this actually happens in a separate parallelly running pipeline, which has nothing to uh, be performed synchronously with this particular application. And finally, we will be updating our Lambda. So we are going to use an AWS Lambda CLI uh, with the update function configuration command. Uh, we'll specify a mandatory argument, which is the function we are supposed to update, and also the set of environment variables that we want to update for this Lambda. Uh, this includes uh, the ones that I already mentioned earlier. All right, and now let's give this a run. So let's try to execute the script that we just created. So manual message. Okay, so now on um, executing the script, we can see that it's copying over the artifacts into our prod bucket um, and also is updating the Lambda with the set of uh, environment variables. And we can see here that our the required um, desired run ID uh, that we wanted to assign to our run ID variable is also being fetched. Okay, uh, from here on, uh, let's try to put a record into our Kinesis streams. So uh, let's assign the value to our Kinesis input uh, stream variable to what we created via Terraform. And now let's try entering a record into this Kinesis stream, a sample one. Okay, so this was successful. It uh, returned uh, a shard ID and a sequence number attached to this. So now let's go to our CloudWatch logs. and have a look if this pipeline actually triggered. So remember the way we have um, designed our pipeline is entering any record into the Kinesis input stream would trigger the Lambda. So basically we are going to check here if the Lambda was executed and it generated any predictions. So we'll go to a stage prediction Lambda. And in here, this is the timestamp at which I'm currently recording this video. So yes, I'll go to the latest log group and here you go. Uh, it successfully managed to execute this particular Lambda. Um, there are some warnings in the logging info statements here, which you can ignore. But yeah, if you query the output stream, <clears throat> you should be able to find the desired record there as well. Um, so yeah, basically we automated this entire pipeline, uh, which you uh, performed manually in the, in the previous uh, exercises, but this is uh, with respect to um, uh, Terraform um, in an IEC style. So wrapping up, we learned now about uh, infrastructure as a code, which uh, lets you define and automate operations around your application's infrastructure, which means it allows you to manage your service, such as Lambda functions, uh, image registries, data stores, streaming services, and many more components. And while you could create these resources using a web interface or CLI commands, IAC has a lot of benefits. For example, um, it provides version control to track changes made to your infrastructure. Uh, it's easy to replicate the configuration uh, across different environments, such as development, uh, staging, or production. Um, yeah, and so on and so forth. And while there are a lot of technologies to apply IEC, such as CloudFormation, AWS SAM, serverless framework, etc., 
we chose Terraform as it's a go-to open source technology to build crowd uh, provider agnostic infrastructure that serves multiple purposes. With Terraform, you can create many important resources for your infrastructure, regardless of your Lambda, and can therefore go beyond creating a standard serverless architecture for your application by choosing any cloud provider of your choice, such as AWS, Azure, or GCP. We also learned how to create our event-triggered uh, ride predictions pipeline in AWS, where our Lambda service is triggered upon the arrival of a ride event in our input Kinesis stream. Uh, and then it generates uh, the predictions defined by our custom Docker image in ECR, uh, and pulling the latest model from the model artifacts bucket, and finally writing the predicted streams in another Kinesis streams, which is uh, the output one that is write predictions. Um, we also learned now uh, about the ways to update our Lambda configuration with, and with certain environment variables outside of our Terraform environment, and we gave it a test. What we'll uh, do in the next session is we talk about how to automate the, these entire set of steps with CI/CD workflows using GitHub Actions. So stay tuned. <laughs>